Well, Shep, the first thing to know is that Moderna thinks its vaccine still works against these new variants. Now, it looked at two of them in particular, one known as B117, which is associated with the UK, and one called B1351, which is associated with South Africa, and which shares some similarities with that P1 strain from Brazil you just mentioned. Now, what Moderna found is that against B117, the vaccine appeared to produce the same level of neutralizing antibodies as against prior strains. Against B1351, they saw a six-fold reduction. Now, that's concerning, but they say the antibody levels are still high enough that the, they believe they'll be protective. Still, Moderna said it plans to test both a booster shot of its original vaccine and develop a new vaccine targeting the B1351 variant, out of what its CEO, Stefan Bonsell, told us is an abundance of caution. What is unknowable right now is what will happen in six months, in 12 months, especially to the elderly, because as you know, they have a weaker immune system and the immunity might go down over time. Now, he said he expects we could end up getting annual COVID shots adjusted to address new variants the same way we get annual flu shots. So how quickly could we get a new vaccine cleared for market? Well, potentially relatively fast if scientists get an understanding of the immune response required to provide protection. That way, vaccines could be cleared based on the levels of antibodies or T cells they generate, data that's much faster to obtain rather than running large-scale efficacy trials that can take several months or even longer when you're not moving at warp speed during a pandemic. And that's how updated flu shots get cleared for the market each year. Experts tell me it's not certain this is how COVID will play out, but Jeff, they all agree it's best to prepare. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.